right then. Our second offering tonight finds Lord Corbett at dinner in his ancestral home on his country estate. Have you ever lived on your own estate, Ron? No, no, no. No, I've always had to share it with the council. <laughs> Where's the food, my dear? We seem to have been waiting an extraordinary amount of time. Honestly, this new butler, though damned erratic, wait for hours and all food seems to come at once. He's damned impudent to boot as well. So that's... No, do you think so, well, dear? Mm. He's always very polite to me. He may be to you, but he's damned impudent to me, dear. So... <laughs> Your game, milady? <laughs> I say, Blinkins, up. will you hurry along with my roast pork, there's a good soul, and make sure it's a nice, fatty piece, will you? See that? Damn well, ignoring me, ignoring me. Don't make such a fuss. He's very efficient. Maybe to you, dear, and me, he's damned impudent. You're fat, my lord. <laughs> See what I mean, dear? I shall have to sack him. Steady on. We've enough servant trouble as it is. The handyman about to leave us and the plumbing's in a terrible state. It reminds me, dear, I must talk to you about the lavatories. They've all gone so to all. You're sweet, milady. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're nuts, my lord. <laughs> Cheeky swine. How am I supposed to open these? Your crackers, my lord. That <laughs> does it, dear. Staff shortage or no staff shortage, he goes. Well, you know best, dear. What were you saying about the lavatories? They're broken, dear. Out of order. Up the spout, down the drain. What? And we've sacked the handyman? How are we going to manage? Your pale, my lady. <laughs> Your potty, my lord. 